it's very difficult to see how there can be any reconciliation between the two brothers, given that this week, just days before he knew he was going to come face to face with William, mm -hmm. he's throwing this grenade out in the High Court. Yes, um, I think Prince Charles's wish to reconcile with his younger son makes a lot of sense. Um, but you can't blame William for being absolutely furious. This is just the latest in what, in his view, are a series of betrayals um, of personal family confidences. Uh, whatever you say about Prince Andrew, Prince Andrew has stayed loyal to the family. Um, and uh, the fact that um, uh, Harry uh, has basically exploited family disputes, which happen in any family, for money, mm. um, is something that uh, I think William understandably finds hard to forgive. And I think the worrying thing from the point of view of the monarchy is you can't see it ending. Because obviously, Harry and Meghan have worked out, although they say they want nothing to do with the royal family, that's how they're identified. Mm. That's how they make money. And it's, I think it's extraordinary that at the very moment when they're rejecting everything royal, they insist that their children should mm. be known as prince and princess. So you have this strange uh, phenomenon of Meghan out there in California saying she dislikes the royal family, but she is actually the one who's, by insisting on royal status, the one who's producing the most current princes and princesses. Absolute bizarre hypocrisy. I couldn't agree more. And it wasn't just William who got it in these high court papers this week. It was the late Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, who is painted as some sort of doddery fool by Harry, who is constantly overruled by her own courtiers and uh, her own son. And then you also have... Charles and Camilla yet again being dragged through the mud by Harry. He went right back. He raised the accusations from the late 80s and the early 90s when an affair was going on and there was the leak of the squidgy gate tapes and all of that. And also made out as if Charles and Camilla have somehow been colluding with the media for decades to prepare for this moment. Is any of that true or is Prince Harry now living in a fantasy world? I think he's correct that in the years after Diana's death, Prince Charles' emphasis was on getting Camilla accepted. And there was one episode when Harry had been involved in drugs and when um, people around Charles used that episode to <clears throat> present Charles as a father that perhaps he hadn't been, because certainly in those years, actually, the best stepmother that the two boys had was not Camilla, it was the Queen. Mm. But now we've moved on. It's 20 years, quarter of a century later. Um, and at the moment of his father's, well, let's hope he's not crowning glory because let's hope the glory goes on. But at this moment of, of such importance in his father's life, to resurrect all these matters um, for essentially his own profit, um, well, what's interesting, of course, is that even in America, the once popular Sussexes are now figures of fun. Mm. But it feels like a vendetta, doesn't it, now? Well, uh, it's... Uh, uh, Certainly a vendetta against the media, but it also feels like a vendetta against his own family. Yes, and he views the royal family as colluding with the media. Well, obviously, the royal family have to live with the media. The media is the vehicle by which the royal family are projected. Um, but he is not above using the media himself, is he, as we saw.